Hi everyone, today Jesse and I just arrived at Kamoka uh, Provincial Park. It's in London, or near London, Ontario. And we haven't done this one before. And it says it's forest, wetland, meadow, and shoreline habitat. And it does run along the Thames. Now we're about 50 minutes from home, but in our town, the ten Thames runs through there. So uh, it's a beautiful river. We get to walk along it and take you along. Okay, we are only about 10 minutes in. Um, when they say a mixture, we're just going from little forested areas like this out into the sun. It's beautiful in here. Hey, eh, Jesse, nice yeah. cool breeze and out there in it's the hot. sun in the meadow, it is hot and it is muggy. But we did do a little better this time in prepping. We um, we brought something to drink. No, we brought pot, but hey, okay, <laughs> it's something to drink. Yeah. We brought something to eat. We didn't do the granola bars. We stopped at the dollar store and got chips. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's our version. It's our version of prepping, right? And uh, we're going to wear running shoes. Totally forgot. So didn't we're once again in flip-flops. Flip -flops. Yeah. It did take us about 20 minutes to get the parking pass for this for this oh, place yeah. uh, because the I, idea you have to pay for parking isn't too evident and you have to pay by following a QR code so if you don't have a smartphone and a credit card you're in trouble yeah but we chose the four hours because it a girl had said that it takes about two hours but they really boot it and we don't no check out this little bridge yeah makes you feel secure <laughs> you can see the Thames through the trees it looks a little muddy and by the sounds of it it's going pretty good I hope this trail leads us down towards the water so we can give you a better glimpse of it. Well, well, we made it down to the beach. It's even a bit of sand there. Had no idea. Thames had sandy beaches. I don't know what they had, but yeah. It's a beautiful river. Okay, so we're walking down a path that's mostly like forest woods right now. But the pass is sandy, quite a bit of it. Um, it is so hot. It doesn't feel physically hot, but just with the hiking and that, this, I'm sweating unbelievably. It's not fun, but I keep doing it. Oh, not sure what that was. Oh, just a squirrel. I keep doing it because one, I enjoy it, and two, I'm getting older. I'm almost 65, and my goal is to stay as fit as possible going into the later years of my life, and a lot of that surprisingly has to do with balance. So. When you're walk, not walking on even surfaces, and you're, as you do when you're hiking, that's actually good for your balance. And uh, if you ever see older people and they shuffle, they don't really take their feet off the ground and they shuffle, that's because they don't have any balance. So they can't lift one foot up long enough to take a full step, so they shuffle. I don't want that to happen to me or I want to be a hundred when that happens. So I keep going. It also, it's great for the mental health. Uh, helps me kind of push away all the stresses and 
I always seem to get a clear vision of what I want to do after a hike. It reinvigorates me and makes me think that I can do whatever it is I'm setting out to do, I can find a way to do it. Isn't this an incredible view? Just look at it, it's so peaceful. I can hear like sort of construction in the background somewhere, which destroys the aesthetics. Oh, miss that as a fish or something. But, uh, wow, when you're down here, it's hard to believe civilization is just moments away. So we've run into a bit of problem. We saw someone on the trail, another mother-daughter team, and they said that the trail gets really bad here. So not sure if we're going to continue on, but we're going to go up a little bit and have a look. Well, isn't this interesting? We've got us some stairs. I'm not a fan of stairs, which means I need stairs in my life because if I don't like them and try and avoid them, that means my physical fitness needs improving. So we're gonna do the stairs. We had to take Charlie off leash, even though you're supposed to have him on leash. But he wouldn't walk without it, with us on the leash. I was kind of having to drag him. And, well, not drag him, but you know how he was walking behind me and the leash pulling back it was bothering me. So I took him off and he's doing good. And there's a bench. <laughs> Actually, two of them for when you get to the top. Yeah, Whew, that was a bit of a hike. We were way down there, but we made it up all in one piece. We're just sweating a whole lot more than we were before. Okay, we are in a meadow. Um, the sun, wow. It's killing us. We've got about an hour and a half left. We're trying to hurry up through this meadow uh, to get, hopefully get back in the trees because it's brutal out here. Despite the heat, it's an absolutely beautiful hike. It really is. Okay, so yeah, I've said this a million times. It's unbearably hot. Charlie's panting like crazy. We have plenty of water for him, but it's really hot. And in this heat, this trail's not a good idea. But it's kind of a loop. So forward is faster than turning around. Um, we did, however, I opened all trails and I noticed we went off the path. And I was upset because it was a ways back. But we also noticed that by doing so, it intersected the path we wanted to go on and cut off a big section of the loop, uh, which normally I'm not okay with because I like getting the all trails completed verified completed thing but right now it's more I think Charlie's had enough and it's more about getting us where we should be which is in somewhere out of the sun well we made it out it was a beautiful walk it really was but when it's really hot it kind of takes away some of the enjoyment kind of go into survival mode I was getting a little nervous about Charlie at the end. Well, he's wearing a fur coat, right? He's a dog. And he was panting more than usual. So we found another shortcut. Thank you all trails for showing all the shortcuts and everything to get to our car even faster. Uh, we're out here filming. Charlie is in the car with the air conditioning on blast, cooling him down. He's getting a drink and he's, he's fine. 
but I just worry about him. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we just like showing you what we do. And the reasons why I do it are basically enjoyment. It's a, it's cheap, but it's also the, the health aspects of it. Um, especially as you're aging and when you, and if you're young keep going man just keep moving it um, you know both it's the health and the mental health they're so important especially nowadays with everything so crazy out there it really helps me out and I so appreciate when you join us and the support you give me until next time ha you know enjoy your life in whatever manner you choose to take care bye